Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to Wowhead's Downtime Tuesday. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be talking about the happenings of the past week in the world of Warcraft. I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. Starting off the video, the selfie scavenger hunt week three is quickly approaching. Now, you may remember that week one sent us to Ogrimmar to do duck faces in the nude in front of guards. Week two had us falling from the skies of Dalaran, desperately trying to capture our photos at just the right moment. Where will week three send us? Only the blue posters know. For those of you feeling out of the loop, the Selfie Scavenger Hunt is an in-game World of Warcraft contest where players are competing to win Battle.net points, Blizzard Store swag, iPhone 6s, or even a trip to BlizzCon. Now it's important to note that even though the event is called the Selfie Scavenger Hunt, the selfie camera is not actually required to enter. If you would like to participate, all you have to do is submit your screenshot attempting to replicate the weekly image and voila, you've been entered. For more information or for leads to the link where you can enter, there are links in the info below. What do you know? This week we were treated to some new information about the Warcraft movie and holy paladins, the hype is real. Wired sat down with Duncan Jones, the film's director, and we learned all sorts of new things. Like for instance, although the film has quite a bit of CGI, apparently it was important for them to have in-camera sets to add realistic framework to the film. And you know what I took out of this? That they're quite possibly somewhere in some warehouse in Vancouver is a life-size Stormwind, or, or like the Goldshire Inn, or something, who cares, it'll be awesome. Another interesting tidbit is that a lot of times the actors whose characters were rendered in CGI often had to do some weird things so that the film would like work out in the end. The exact example they gave is that Clancy Brown, who plays Blackhand, had to sit on a giant rocking horse thing while giving a dramatic war speech. That is the best mental image ever. We also found out that since the visual effects studio working on the Warcraft movie, ILM, also worked on the Avengers, that they pulled some inspiration for orcs from their fellow green-skinned hero, the Hulk. That and the immense amount of concept art that Blizzard created specifically for the film. And quite possibly the most exciting piece of Warcraft movie news is actually rumors. So with that being said, I ask you kindly, please don't shoot the messenger if it turns out to not be true, okay? Okay, so anyways, I heard that there is going to be a preview for the Warcraft movie before Jurassic Park. Yeah, so I was already going to go see Jurassic Park, but now I have to go see Jurassic Park. I, I feel like I don't even have a choice because I would pay the $11 for the movie ticket for a movie I didn't even want to see just to watch the trailer and then walk out. Like, I would do that. Like, there's no, like, that, that's, you probably think I'm, like, speaking in a hyperbolic manner. No, I'm so serious. Like, I would pay $11 just to see the Warcraft movie trailer. Like, the fact that I get to see Jurassic Park with Chris Pratt is just a bonus. So anyways, I know what I'm doing June 12th. I got really intense there for a second. I was at like a 10, maybe 10.5. I'm gonna try to take it back down to like a six or a seven for the rest of the video. <laughs> Sorry. And of course, what would one of these videos even be if I didn't at least mention something going on in 6.2? Now I've done about a million videos talking about 6.2. Check out my channel. I also did like a 39 things about 6.2 wrap up video. Plus with Wowhead Weekly, I feel like I've talked about everything. So in an effort not to be like redundant and repetitive, I'm just gonna show you the new Warlock Demon models because they're awesome.
Now, in addition to these confirmed models, WoW had also found these other models that might be used for warlocks, or they could just be NPCs. We don't know, but they're cool too. Check it out. Not too shabby, am I right, Warlocks? And last of today, I want to remind you guys about the live Q&A scheduled for Saturday, June 6th at 3 p.m. Pacific Time with Ian Watcher Hezacostas. It's going to be over at twitch.tv slash wow, and it will be hosted by Lore. He will be answering questions about 6.2, Warlords of Draenor, and the things they have learned from the ongoing development of World of Warcraft. Immediately following that, WoWhead site manager Perculia and myself will be hosting an analysis and discussion of said Q&A, and that will be over at twitch.tv slash WoWhead. And that leads me right into today's question, which is actually a question about a question. I want to know if you could ask Watcher one question about either 6.2 or Warlords of Draenor or the ongoing development of World of Warcraft. What would you ask and why? Let me know in the comments section below while you think about your question. Check out our answers from last week's question. This is all very confusing. Here it is. Roll that beautiful bean footage. And that's it for this week's Wowheads Downtime Tuesday. My name is Panzer and my YouTube channel is Trade Chat. If you enjoyed this video, um, you could thumb up my video, you could leave a comment in the comment section below, you could subscribe to my channel if you have not already. As always, I linked all of my sources in the information below. I make Downtime Tuesday every Tuesday because Tuesday, so I hope that you'll come back next Tuesday. Maybe your comment will be featured in our featured comments section. I'm really bad at outro. Things have not gotten better. They might have gotten worse. Also, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning because that's an appropriate time to be filming a video. I don't want to talk about it. And I think that's all the things I had to cover. Maybe this outro was better than usual. I don't think so. I think it was worse. I'm going to go. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. 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 Ah! <laughs> Gross. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you do, remember to make sure that you... <laughs> Oh, it's going to be one of those videos. I feel like the glare is real. Is it bad? I can't tell. I think if I'm here, it's okay. All right. Take, a four. Take 40. No, Mara, we don't meow. Mara, that's your own noises. Mara, Mara, cut it out. Mara, Mara, Mara. No, give me that. You are so freaking bad. I don't even know what to say. You're like shockingly bad. I just want to film my video in peace without cats. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Good. All right. Trying to replicate a, a thing. What? Like, for instance, even though the Warcraft movie is very CGI, there's a lot of CGI involved, the... V <laughs> oh, more Octo coffee. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good stuff. Okay. <laughs> that means that there's quite possibly in of... In of... <laughs> 
Oh no. I feel like the glare is like intense. If I sit, if I sit just like this, it'll be fine. No glare, no glare, no whammies, no whammies. Oh my God. Ugh. <laughs> Bunch of concept art, the blizzard. Oh my God. I would rather miss the birth of a child, like my child, I don't wanna have a kid, but I would rather have miss the birth of my own child than miss the Warcraft movie trailer. I mean that. I don't, you probably think like, oh, that's hyperbolic. No, it's not. I mean it. I mean it. Hey, cut it out. You guys are so freaking ornery today. And I'm gonna need everyone to take a deep breath and go to their happy place because the next topic in this video is flying in World of Warcraft. On Friday, Blizzard dropped a bombshell of information on us saying that there would probably be no flying in Draenor or any new content going forward. Cue riots. 